Okay, man, this is our slide naked concept. Uh, in a slide naked concept, the most important part of this play is that we're going to get the play started by always blocking the contain player with a tight end or a adjuster in our offense uh, to give the quarterback the edge off of a heavy play fake away from the slam. So as you notice here in the diagram, our Y tight end is running the slam release, and it's called a late leak. His job is to put big wood on the contained player. So if it's a five, uh, a seven, or a six, he's going to put major wood on that guy. If we have a nine technique, he would put wood on him, and he would try to take it off of an inside foot, and um, he would rake the nine technique across his face and spill him inside to create the edge for the quarterback off the play fake with the tailback to get the contain broken. Uh, with a slide naked, that is the most important principle right here that starts with the, with the uh, tight end in this diagram. The second thing is the slider. The slider is going to come from the opposite side. Uh, we'll do several different personnel groups, several different formations uh, to create this play. And this one here, we're actually in a static alignment. We'll use motions to do this. We'll bring a, re a receiver. Uh, from, a, from the side that uh, the naked is actually going to occur to, back across. And the whole principle of the slide, whether you align him static or you motion him into or back away from, is to get the, to get the slider on this side. He'll slide underneath the contain block by the tight end. If we operate from a surface that's a tight alignment, which you see here, we like to run this particular one from different bunch sets, and this is a, a, what we call a nasty alignment by both our outside receivers. Um, they will run a corner route, a high corner route. The breaking point's at 14 yards. He stays ultra high out of his break. He steps out at a 45-degree angle and shoots the hole about 22 to 25 yards deep. So it's a real high uh, corner route. He's trying to lift the coverage. On the back side, the over route is run by the tight end. Now, when we teach uh, our second guy, which is our tight end in this example to do, is to win by either getting underneath or on top of the first defender, best possible release, a first linebacker in other words, and always on top of the second linebacker to establish his depth. On our over routes, we don't want to flatten them out. We want to keep a high angle. So we're really trying to get 10 yards over the ball and create a high angle. So what we see, particularly in our league, is linebackers that try to run underneath. And then if we just stay flat, they just run with us. But if we can out leverage them by staying high in the hole, then we leave him and separate away from him. So as a quarterback and the tailback are the key to the play, anytime we run a naked play with our offensive linemen, we're, doing, we're selling the run. We're selling the run by keeping our pads down. We make line calls. We block the play we're running for three hard steps. <clears throat> the tailback and the quarterback are huge in this protection, uh, in the protection aspect of it, because the fake is the protection. So the tailback and quarterback, whether it's in the gun, uh, whether it's with a hand action or a toss action, however we run this slide naked, um, you know, their, their ball faking is critical to the play. So the tailback will execute on this particular play, our 93, which is our tight zone, uh, footwork, A-gap to A-gap tight zone. He'll hit his aiming point. After he hits his aiming point, he will actually be responsible for anything that would come off this play side edge. If nothing came off this play side edge, then he simply is going to take off and rail. We'll set up our, uh, we throw off our boot action. All of our nakeds have the possibility of throwing a rail route uh, off of a naked was break contain, you know, many times the defense will leave this alone on the back side. So we have that possibility in every one of our nakeds in our game plan. So he'll set that up by running a rail. He also will help flush coverage in, uh, if, you know, they're playing a static, you know, base coverage. So the quarterback, when he comes off the play fake, he gets depth off his play fake, snaps his head around. As he's breaking contain, he's going to look one to the slide, two to the over, three to run. You notice we put the term here, alert. The quarterback has the possibilities that once he breaks contain, he sees that they've dropped coverage. We could take this alert on the corner. It's always available to us. We'll peek it, but it's really not in the primary progression. And with the younger quarterbacks, we don't even give them that. As they get older, get a feel for the play, we teach them, hey, when you come off this ball fake, peek your corner, no corner, then you're working low to high. And we do that on all of our run action plays because on a run action play like the naked that we're running here and all the different slides we'll show you here in a second on film, it's the same. It's, it's, a, it's a run action pass. So the run is the protection. The ball fake by the quarterback and the tailback is the protection. We'll show you this on film now. 
All right, guys, this is the naked play we just talked about. The formation call, personnel groups, Tiger. The formation call is solo right nasty. The play call is going to be fake 95. Um, that's our tight zone play. Naked right X slide. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, this is a play that we'll use, uh, you know, before I go any further. Let me uh, get them lined up here for you. Uh, this is a play we'll use on normal down situations, such as first down, second down, uh, third down, and uh, two to three, uh, third down and short, third down and one, in other words. Uh, situationally in the red zone, uh, we'll use this. Uh, it's got a lot of application as a normal down pass and has been very good to us. And we believe in running the football first here, and um, we believe that's how championships are won, and this run action pass has been huge for us. Um, <clears throat> quarterback's going to come back. He's going to give the ball fake. That we call this a show fake. We want to make sure we get our back to the defense. We play with tight elbows. We let our eyes show the defense the play fake. Our tailback should roll his, uh, have his inside arm up. He should roll his inside arm over the football on the ball fake. And once he gets that, then he should hit into the line of scrimmage and bounce and rail. Our offensive line is going to block the play for three hard steps, and they're going to make the line calls. They're associated with the run. And then so that's the sound like and the look like, obviously, is coming off for three hard steps, our back and our quarterback's ball action uh, in the play. So that's the protection aspect of it. Remember, the protection aspect of it, as we talk about it, is the ball fake. It's really critical. And then our line coming off, with, coming off the line of scrimmage with uh, flat backs, coming off with low pads. Um, the second part of it now, just to review the play, this is going to be a corner route because we're in a nasty split. If we were in an uh, extended uh, split, he would run a comeback versus free access. If he got cloud or rotation coverage, he'd turn that into a go route. Because of the alignment, he'll run the high corner. This will be the slam release we're facing. It looks like here a gap five or a, um, a seven technique. He'll come down and slam release that. That's big wood. We actually tell him a four count on this. The slide naked will come behind it. Then the over route will manipulate the best possible release. We tell him either underneath or over the top of the first backer, but always over the top of the second backer, and then build a high angle across the field. And the quarterback's read is going to be one on the low, two to the high, and three to run. And there you see it. We really got the defense outflanked. Well, this is a great play to help us do that. The nasty splits and the tight bunch splits help us do that. And then the slide naked just slips behind it. And you always end up with a pretty sizable game. We liked in our offense to do a lot of things that are throw and catch, throw and catch. This is just a long handoff. It's another run play as we see it. So this has been a play for us that's been very successful in our tenure. We do it out of, again, several different uh, formation personnel groups and formations, structures, motions. And every week we're going to make sure that we have this presented to a defense. 